Hello out there and welcome to English to Plays. We're here with Jalopy, which is a new game and I mean it's not new. I think it's actually been out for a while to be honest, uh, but I did just receive a free copy of it. Um, but to be fair, I actually think that I had a copy of it from Humble Bundle at some point. So, but well, we're going to play it. We're going to Jalopy A Grand Journey East. Okay, let's play it. Is there a new game? Well, yeah, let's go. Nope, we don't want to skip the tutorial. So we just played, recently we played a game called The Long Drive, um, and uh, use about the amount of charge will depend on the time it takes for the engine to start. So, so um, we just played the game Long Drive, which I think is what this game actually, this, this game is that game, but it's, you know, actually got a tutorial and stuff. Wake up! All right. Awake, finally. Okay, thanks Uncle Litfi. Stay in bed any longer and the day will make fools of us, Okay. Wow, his clothes look terrible. Something important to show you. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, let's just. I'm just gonna turn the mouse sensitivity down a little bit. All right. Come, come. It's just outside. All right. We're gonna waz around. Oh god. Oh god. His shirt is awful. Um. All right. We're, we're coming outside. Oh, it's a car. Here is a Leica 601 Deluxe. All right. Leica was the name of the first dog in space. Good dog all. Engineer Lenjin, the GDR, so here's six, in 22.5 seconds, top speed of 100 kilometers per hour, all at the economical rate of 9 kilometers per liter. That's it, if we can get her running. I have everything ready, we'll need. We'll just need to build her an engine, slap on some wheels, fit the passenger side door, and give her a bit of a clean. <laughs> uh, nice. Okay, so this is, um, this is what I'm talking, this is what I was talking about with, uh, um, with, uh, Long Drive. This is the same gameplay, um, but, uh, this one is taking you through the process. You know what I mean? Like, okay, what do we do? There we go. But it's on. Nice. We did it. Let's fit the engine. See a backlatch. Okay. Pull that, and we'll release the bonnet. Uh... I don't see the back latch. That's a wallet. Open the... Oh, the drive... You said the passenger side door. Or did you say the driver's side door? You might have said the driver's side door. I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. What well, should be just under the steering wheel. Okay. That's it. I got it. Nice. All right. Um, okay, now open the bonnet. I can walk you through this. All right. I'm going to do it. It's open! She needs an engine. I've got a load of stock parts sitting in the garage. Go look to one and I'll walk you through what it does. Alright. So we're going to fix up this car. And it's going to be... Oh. Stock carburetor. Alright. Well, let's... I got, I got it, man. Thank you. Alright. We'll take the carburetor out here and uh, go attach it to the car. Um, which controls the fuel consumption, which in turn controls how many kilometers per liter you get out of your Leica. Will mean you use less fuel and can drive further for cheaper. Drop it into the engine bay. Alright, I'm doing it. There we go. Alright, let's go get the next thing. This is pretty fun. This is cool. So this is more like what I was expecting when I uh, was playing the long drive. I know I keep comparing it to that, but the difference is, yeah, huge. Um, okay. Engine block defines core performance, if you like, including top speed and acceleration. Right, got it. It's in there. Nice. Next! Let's go get this battery. So we're fixing up this car. We're going to fix up this car. Now, I don't want to spend the whole video fixing up the car. So what we're going to do is we're going to fix up the car in fast forward. And then uh, we're going to drive. Yep, I got it.
smash my car? That is so rude. Okay, well. Stop trying to hit my car, my dude. Rude. I had to fix my car. I'm getting in. God. Okay, fine. Alright, let's go. Man, he just, like, smashed up my car. Alright, so they just smashing up my car for no reason. Seems pretty rude. Just saying. Just saying! I do like that they got annoyed, though. That's cool. Oh, I suppose they could have turned my hazards on. And then they wouldn't have gotten so annoyed, maybe. Maybe! Alright, uh, I'm gonna fast forward till we get to the next story bit. This guy's trying to pass me. Um, we can honk as well. Right. Okay, so there was an accident, and now everyone's stuck because this guy got into an accident. Um, and I think that's the end of the, the video. I don't think there's anything else we can do. Can we GTA this sitch? We can rock these cars a bit. Yeah. Yeah, have some of that. Gonna push on a van. Alright, um... So these guys are all stopped. Yeah, oh, we can't get back in the car. Oh, there we go. Oh, we can get back in, there we go, we're back in. But we're in, uh... We're definitely stuck. Let's get going, we'll get the car going, and... We're gonna go backwards. Yep, time to go backwards, son. We're gonna push this guy out of the way. Well, I guess we're not. I guess we're gonna crash into this guy. Oof. I think we're I think we're done. I think it's time to go look at the description. Okay, build, repair, refuel, and drive a dilapidated old car on a grand journey through the territories of the former Eastern Bloc. It's got mostly positive reviews, but recent stuff is mixed. It's developed by Minsk Works, um, and Excalibur Games published it. Let's have a look at Minsk Works. Um, so this is their first and only game. And let's look at Excalibur Games, see what their shopkeep. Resort Boss Golf. Um, yeah, we played that. That was, that was okay. That was okay. Looks like there's a few okay things on here. Yeah. Nothing like mind-blowing or anything. Um, let's see. Costs $17.99. Right. So, it's reasonably pricey. And then there's Landlord Super. Navigate miles and miles of tire-changing, fuel-burning, carburetor-busting, mud-clattering terrain. 
through night and day, rain and shine, adapt to whatever the procedurally generated world of Jalopy can throw at you. Well, I got stuck in a thing, so yeah. Um, upgrade and maintain your car. You get new upgrades. The rise of capitalism brings an economic conundrum. Scavenge for scraps to make a small return of investment or become a baron of the open road and smuggle contraband under the eyes of the border patrols to make a sizable profit. Right, well, I didn't actually get to do any of that, so that's fine. Um, at least it had a really good tutorial and was pretty fun. I was definitely enjoying it. Um, yeah, there's some bugs. Bringing the uncle is just a no-no. Because you can't progress the action and you could just lose everything you were doing, which is annoying. Right. The game falls apart more often than the car. Yeah, the game... Yeah, I mean, that happened to me as well. Um, they never fixed it, still infinite, probably never will be. Yeah, so game-breaking bug. So I ran into one. So, like, in my first go on the game, I ran into a game-breaking bug. I like the idea, and I think if it didn't have the game-breaking bugs, it would probably be really cool. Um, like I said, it's about taking something mundane and making it interesting. Um, similar to Papers, Please. It's got that same vibe. You know, take something really mundane, like checking passports, and make it interesting. Something really mundane, like uh, driving a car, make it interesting. So that's cool. Um, I like it, but I uh, wish I hadn't reached a game-breaking bug. That would have been nicer. It is better than the long drive, um, you know, as far as the tutorial and stuff. But I think, the I think the long drive is actually riffing on this game. You know, one of the things it says is, like, you know, it's got uh, plenty of gas. Uh, you know, way more than nine liters per kilometer. You don't have to fill up all the time or whatever, you know, so that's, that's cool. Um, but yeah, so that's Jalopy. If you want to check it out, it's on Steam. Um, and it, uh, is okay. It is okay. I wish it wasn't broken, but the, you know, the idea and the premise and stuff is okay. And if they fix it up, it will be really good. So, uh, thanks for watching, like, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Class dismissed.